Ted. What are you doing? I can't hear you. What are you doing? New TIG welders. They're, they're fun, but they're noisy. Is uh, that the inverters over the transformers? That are noisier? Well, well, right. Yeah, that that that's part of it. It's just that they're putting such, you know, they're, they're going to bigger fans, I guess, to shove them inside those little cases, trying to get the duty cycle up on the machine. And of course, you know, a bigger fan, a stronger fan, a fan that runs all the time rather than one that's only you know, it's on a thermostat that only runs when it needs when it needs to, like on the older transformer machines. So the minute you flip the switch, you got the fan. Uh, no, I, I was just playing with the aluminum, you know, playing with some aluminum, playing with the AC settings on this uh, Everlast Power TIG 255 EXT over here. You know, this is the one that's got four different wave fronts. So it's got sine wave, which is like the old transformer machine, you know, like my, my Miller 200 synchro wave. That was a sine wave machine. Uh, and then it's got a a soft square wave, an advanced square wave, and a triangular wave. You know, just kind of playing with them a little, you know, just to see what they do, how they do it, which one's better than the other. You know, and I thought, well, let me just run four little beads here and just change the wave front. Don't change anything else. You know, and then show you what the welds look like Listen to the sounds. Listen to the difference in sound of the weld when I change it from one to the other. It's, it's really kind of cool. Do you, can you explain what each of them is for? Wow. Uh, well, advanced square wave. It, it's much more powerful, if you will. You know, it, it's got it, just the way the electronics work, the way that, that the way that, um, sine wave work, you know, the, the, the wave front works, you get a lot more power, you get a lot more penetration, you get, uh, you get more penetration for less amps if you're running it on the advanced pulse, which is something else we need to get into. But, you know, advanced square, lots of power. The soft square, a little, little easier, a little calmer. Um, a little wider, you know, a little less penetration, a little wider, a little wider arc on it, you know, for, for a little smoother, you know, it's, it's softer, you know, you, you'll see it when I show you. The, um, the sine wave, like I say, that's like the old-fashioned machines. I'm not really sure why you would want to use it, but that's why I play, that's why I practice. And then the triangular, now that's really kind of cool. That's for thinner aluminum. That's for like vertical joints or overhead joints. Something where you want to be able to hit it quick, get a puddle, add your filler, and have that puddle freeze just right now. So you don't have to worry about it dropping. You don't have to worry about it falling through or anything. Uh, it's kind of weird. It's kind of fun to play with. You know, I, I was doing some corner stuff. You were doing some uphill stuff. You know, just playing with it that way. It's really kind of cool. But let me fire this beast up and get it set just right, and then just run four little beads. Just like I say, just switching from one wave to the next, so you can see what they're like. All right, so this is at uh, 125 amps, and AC frequency is 110, and no pulse, and it's in sine wave. So let's just run a little bead. set it to the soft square. Okay, so let's bump it up to the advanced square. For the last one, let's try the triangular. Okay, so 
let's look at these. And remember, no other settings were changed. Okay, so here's the sine wave. And it looks kind of cold. You know, lots of, lots of cleaning. And then I came over to the, and then we went to the soft square. A little flatter, you know, a little warmer. Of course, it was getting a little heat from the first weld also. But then I came, then we, we came over to the, uh, to the advanced square. And look at the difference in the size of the, of the bead. You know, a lot more power. Spread out a lot more, wet in a lot more. The crater at the end, that's my fault. <laughs> and then for the last one was the triangular wave. Real, real quick, real sharp, on off, on off. That's a cool little function, you know, for working with the really thin metals. You know, the verticals or something like that, you know, working on an outside edge or a curve, you know. I, I've, I've really gotten the hang of that triangular. I, I like that for working on my little pieces. So that just gives you a quick little look uh, at what having the four different wave fronts, you know, can give you as far as uh, variations on when you're welding with aluminum, you know, whether you're working flat or vertical or overhead, you know, the thicker metals, the thinner metals. Uh, a lot of fun, a lot of fun to play with. You know, it's making me a better welder, and it's making me do more aluminum work just because I have, you know, that machine available. So I hope that answers your questions. I hope it raises a few more for you. You know, let me know. You know I'll try to work it out here and make a video for you. So don't forget to look right down there and push that subscribe button. And don't forget to come to my, my website, you know, and check out my work. You know, I also have a newsletter you can sign up for over there. I'm going to go back to playing. I mean working. And I'll see you all next time.